with it. Every time I turn on the camera, my phone is like, listen to me instead. Uh, but you guys are way more important. Good morning, guys. It is, it is Thursday, and yeah, riding hair, don't care. Today, this girl is going riding. Before we can go to the show, I have to get our horses some food. It is food day, it is grain day. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we got our grain. Sam loaded it. Did you load the grain? Yeah. Did you get four and three? Yeah. Remember, I told I don't know you. Why you got four and three? Yeah. So that's right. I should have got. Yeah. Anyways, so I told you guys a long time ago I'm trying to buy my grain monthly now because we used to buy it weekly. It just turned out to be too much of a hassle. Sometimes they would run out and I have to come back. So now I try and buy it every single. Uh, now I try and buy it for a month and we've been trying to figure out what exactly we use. Basically, I bought seven bags, switched it all around. Hopefully this is going to do it. Um, then I ended up looking around because that's what I do. I love making my kids happy. I don't know why. I think most parents are like that. We can. We will do things just to make our kids happy. So I found these little crinkly balls that were really cheap. I also found these and so I got some for Sophie. And even though Gabby has a kitten, you guys all know that it's Sophie that's the kitten person. It's Sophie that's the chicken person. In a past video, we showed you guys that our water with the little nipples, I don't think it was working. I think I have to clean it. There's something wrong. Our chickens weren't getting enough water, I'm sure of it. But it was still dripping or leaking or something. So we've been using our old water. So we have two in there and they're not very big. We have to change the water all the time. It's kind of annoying, and so I got this. <laughs> we have troubles at our house. We do not have an outdoor hose. We don't have an outdoor hose. We don't have any place to hook up a hose. It's super annoying. Um, when we move, that's one thing we will have. Can't get a big, huge one because we have to be able to carry it. So I think Sophie should be able to carry this big, huge one here. I think she could handle it. It's not too big. It is three gallons, three gallons of water. So hopefully this will do the trick for now. I got a new water. No, I don't have to fill that every day. And I got this. Kitten toy. Sophie's been down at the barn so many times playing with those kittens. So Kaylee slept over last night and usually what happens when she sleeps over is that the girls do not go to bed. Sophie's always like me and she's like, I have to go to bed. And Gabby and Kaylee stay up till the crack of dawn. Last night, I heard Gabby get up to, I heard Gabby in the bathroom and I said, Gabby, what time is it? And she said, I don't know. And I'm like, mm-hmm. So Sam looked because we all woke up at that point and it was 2 a.m. And I'm like, get to bed because we have crazy things to do today. And I don't want a grouchy, cranky Gabby that just sits there. You guys know that Gabby. I want the happy, outgoing, friendly Gabby. The normal Gabby. So hopefully we get that Gabby. We'll see. They haven't come downstairs yet. Yeah, after you fill it, you carry it like this. Back up. This little girl is pretty uh, adventurous and friendly. I can't have to kick her out of the way. I know. You guys want fresh water. I'm coming. Uh, okay. So these are their old waters. Uh, do I throw the treats out here? Yeah, just wait though. I want to show it. And this is the new one. Uh, okay. Ow. Wait, I'm stuck. Oh my god. I'm literally attached. I need help. Well, I can't get over there. Okay, I'm attached. Somehow, I got my bra stuck on this hook, and I'm literally... Oh, phew. I was so attached, like, I, I wouldn't have been able to move. It's heavy. Oh god. <laughs> Yay. Whoa, look at it pour out. It's It's... Spilling, that's so stupid. Oh, okay, only spills for a few minutes. Hopefully, it stops. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> We're gonna try it. 
see how it does it doesn't seem like it goes out anymore until it gets low it did make a mess in the chicken coop we'll take these ones in clean them up oh molly molly is a chicken lover and i don't think she loves them because she's always out there licking her lips sophie brought some peaches <laughs> look at him look at our little rooster he's like peaches they want us to move mm -hmm. They love peaches. Should I throw some in there too? Yeah. She's a happy boy. She's our friendliest little girl. Wow. So we get two in the... Alright, so we get two in the morning and one in the afternoon. And the one in the afternoon is a new layer. I find that any chicken that starts to lay for us is always laid in the afternoon. Look at Molly. She's like, let me in. Look it's like, look at we have an extra chicken in the, we have an extra, a new chicken in the house. All right, there you go, girlies. Let's see. Nice and big. Little Miss Gabby is up. When we came back from the chicken, she's up here making breakfast. Yeah, so we gave a bunch of ch eggs to uh, Sam's dad before he went home so that he could take some but fresh eggs home. we didn't give him this one. We didn't give him the baby ones. Looks like Haley's up too. Yes, Gracie, we see you there. We see you. I came down to the barn. Gabby's getting ready to ride Chino for his daily build-up ride. And I went to check on the kittens. And we have Sophie's little guy snuggled in that amazing bed. They love that bed. And I looked everywhere for the little girl. For Lexi. Her name is Lexi. Looked everywhere. And then finally, I found her. I looked everywhere, you guys. And then I found her. At the top of the hay bale. <gasps> at the top of the hay bale. Anyway, I guess they learned how to climb the hay bale and that's where she wants to sleep. They're using the litter box really well. So hopefully they're not going to start peeing on the hay. I don't think they're going to. So far, so good. Look at how much she loves you guys. She always, she's like the first cat to come to you. Like, I love a cat like this. I love horses like this. And kids, she's purring already. Oh my goodness. You're the cutest kitten. You're the cutest little kitty. Want me to rub your belly? Hey, you want to wrestle me? Your brother's a lazy bones. Is this why you climbed up here? Because your toy came up? It flew up there and then you came up chasing it? Is that what happened? Because you are a good mouser. I asked you guys before, what's better for mousing, boys or girls? And you guys said both. <laughs> I've always found girls as better mousers. Look at how cute. See, she wants me to pet her more. She's like, pet me, let me scratch my bum. Scratch my bum. No matter where I go, she comes right over to me. That's how friendly this little kitten is. All right, so he didn't get pads. He, oh, did he get pads? No. He got this thing. Yeah, he got Storm gel. Bot. He's gonna get leather pads next time. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. Just so you know, when you come to the day by day farm, we always have the stuff. We have helmets in all different sizes. We have riding boots in all different sizes. <laughs> Kelly, what are, what's Gabby making you do? Barrel race Gracie. Barrel race Gracie. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Chino will be standing here waiting for his owner to take him out to the field. He's really sweaty. We washed him down. We're kind of waiting for him to dry a little tiny bit because we don't want him to get sunburned. Yeah. So sweaty. Kelly's already dying of heat. Just don't die. That's my only rule. Can I tell them about how every time you come here you get hurt? I haven't gotten 
heard the last few times. Yeah, there is like. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Oh my gosh, maybe we shouldn't do this. I think you can do it, Kaylee. Don't do it. Kaylee, the Western Rider. Great Willow be like, ride me, ride me. She's like, if there are any treats that are gonna be giving for this, you better be giving it to me. All right, you ready, Gracie? Gracie's changed into our crazy pony, one of our crazy ponies, into like the best little pony. But look at those turns. There she goes. I think she needs another, another round. I, Gracie, you lose, but you lived, Kaylee, so that's that awesome. It's a practice round, you guys. That's the practice round. Kaylee's getting her barrel racing legs on. She's braver this time. There she goes, there she goes. Off to the second barrel. <laughs> She's running the bend of the last barrel and she's gonna canter home! Slowest barrel racing pony ever. But when we got her, she was way more fast, wasn't she? Oh yeah. She and yeah, she would have ran through that, but we want her to be a slow, slow hunter. Such a good pony! All right, you guys, this is the winning round. This is the round that Kaylee's gonna win it. She's in it to win it. Go, Gracie, go! Go, Gracie, go! She can just t turn on a dime, that little pony. Whoa! Uh-oh. A little bit of sass. Go, Gracie! Yay! That was pretty. <laughs> Give me a whip. Give me a whip. Kelly's like, that was not the winning round. All right, here we go. We're in the middle of the next final leg of the barrel racing journey. And then she goes. Bouncing away and cantering home. <laughs> Come on, she's awesome. <laughs> Listen, if she was crazy, wouldn't you be? Look, she's like, give me my treats now. I know I've done it all. <laughs> That's what she did. Oh, there we go. That's why. She was just going the. Whoa! I missed. I cannot run. Happily change. Happily change. She's our lead no, change she pony. A lot when she gets warmed up. I think it's the dust. We could spray this. Now that we have a hose in here, we can actually spray it. Okay, so it's the time of day where I'm gonna be riding. Got my riding pants on. Oh, I still fit into them. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I gained a couple pounds since winter, since summer. Hey guys, you guys should go check out my TikTok. Sophie and Finn. Finn and Sophie. Finn and Sophie. What a crazy day it's been. I feel like I haven't really vlogged that much today. So basically what happened is that Sam took our horse trailer in to get safety. In Canada, he doesn't need a safety on it, which is just technical stuff that is hard to understand. But even though he didn't need it to be checked to make sure that it was safe for us, he didn't want to take it to a show without it being checked. So he took it in and they said, holy heck, Remember last time when our trailer broke down? The same thing was about to happen again on the back axle. Now, the last time we crashed with it, the front axle broke. We had horses on it. We didn't want that to happen. So he ended up taking it to the shop. They said they couldn't fix it. And we have a horse show in two days. So he went back. So they fixed what they needed to do. Then he went back, took it, and took it to another place. And they're actually going to finish fix it. And it's going to be ready for tomorrow, which is great. Haley and her dad offered us their trailer which was so kind so like it. yeah so we our horses were gonna go to the show no matter what but at least that's done okay so all that drama is finished so he's been posting a ton of tiktoks 
And actually for a 10 year old, she's doing really good on TikTok. Like she makes her own video, her own TikToks that I've never even seen and she does awesome. So the, so now what you guys really want to know about is, yeah, I'm going riding, Gabby's going riding, Sophie's going riding and we're going to pick up a friend and she's going to go riding with us. Where the heck are we going riding without our horses? You're probably wondering. Well, if you are an OG member, then you probably know exactly where we're riding. You guys know our friend Molly. She is addicted to the Pasofino horses. If you guys are new, what well, you might not know that we rode, we've gone a couple of times riding on Pasofino horses. These are gated horses. It's a bit of a smaller breed and they move differently. Instead of going like this when they move, they go like this when they move. One thing about the Pasofinos, and this is for all you older ladies out there, like every single one of you, you know who I'm talking about. The people that want to ride, the women that want to ride, the women that want to go out there and and get back up but they're scared and they're nervous if I can ride a Pasofino without much nerves then you can ride a Pasofino because they go like this it's like a this kind of a movement not like a this kind of a movement so you don't feel like you're gonna fall out also the Pasofino that I ride rides in a, an Australian stock saddle and it's Wintech and I bet you it's probably not any more than $400 max to get a saddle like this so again for any of you ladies that are dying to ride and are scared get yourself a Wintech Australian stock saddle because I sit in there and I it's like I'm dug down deep in the horse Like I can get out of that saddle even if I wanted to which could be a bad thing But it's actually a really good thing on these horses. Anyway, we're gonna go. I'm gonna ride again I love these horses so much and we're gonna vlog the whole thing for you guys Don't you know that you're beautiful? 